guys <laughs> welcome back to our tea share tea where respiratory therapists live out loud with me your host linda fry the asthma lady yes thank you so much guys for returning back thank you to anybody new and i just want to say thank you guys for supporting me and rt share t remember we are growing together all right guys so hang in there with me um so today we are talking about asthma <laughs> right i'm the asthma lady it's my bread and butter so that's what i do that's what i talk about all right so today we are talking about requests you can make uh with as someone that has asthma or um, how you can guide your patients that have asthma um, in regards to housing or any issues they are having with uh, their landlord in the condition of the home. Um, but before we go into that, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We are here on Google Podcasts every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, and we are on YouTube every Thursday at whatever time I make it happen. <laughs> All right, guys, so no shade to me. Um, yes, okay, so asthma, is, as we all know, is a chronic lung disease. It is considered a disability in this country, all right? And when I say that, I mean it in the fact that if you have bad asthma, severe asthma, where it li it limits you uh, from going to work or just uh, you have decreased quality of life where you can't do things the way you're supposed to, you are covered by the Americans with Disability Act. Okay, so that act, it is a federal civil law. So what does that mean? means that you have rights your patient has rights with those that have bad asthma right so this is important when it comes to public agencies so what that means is if your patient or you live in public housing and you have bad asthma and the conditions of the home is contributing to your asthma like you can put this in writing request in writing to be accommodated all right and what does accommodation mean all right so we are not talking about like hotel accommodations um don't let your your, your patients get carried away basically what they are saying is you um if asthma if your asthma is severe classified as severe you can you go you can f actually file for social security disability benefits all right so um under this civil law i'm going to tell you what you need for you to qualify for that right and what to tell your patients because um in some communities you know in the minority community uh a lot of folks have asthma right so they don't take it as that serious or it's just like oh peter has asthma and it's like okay well a lot of folks in the family have asthma and so but know that when it is severe and it's the house is contributing to it um we do home environmental assessments for asthma um in our case management program for pediatrics and the conditions of some of these homes i personally as a respiratory therapist and as a certified asthma educator do home visits i have prior to covid i went personally to some of the complex cases um of, of pediatric patients that have asthma that keep returning to the er or being admitted to the inpatient unit all right so our what 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 we have is um for these accommodations in order to qualify it has to be documented by your doctor or provider that you have severe asthma okay and so they're gonna want to know that spirometry or the breathing test will have to be included to show that okay this as that your asthma is severe and that it is limiting you in your daily activities all right so if you can prove this 
you can qualify for social security benefits and you can talk to the landlord you can go to the landlord now for those of you that live in new york city when it comes to new york city um public housing nycha i work in new york and i work in north brooklyn we have the breathing easier at home accommodation so basically you tell nycha you go you go to the nycha website or to the building managers you fill out an actual form and you have to attach the doctor's note to the form so that has to be there that's that's there's no way you can pass that and then um you can attach um this is how we help as well you can get a letter also from um a program like ours from the case management program where you state that you are being followed um and managed because you have been going back to the emergency room and that you are being monitored um so that you can gain asthma control and we will also back the patient or the person up to help them with accommodations now what what is considered an accommodation under um under this policy is they can allow you to have an extra air conditioner or air purifier you know there's some buildings that they, they have a limit on how many units they can have in the apartment um they if it's mold they can relocate you for a certain amount of days um until your apartment is has been uh, the mold has been re remediated uh and or they can actually move you completely if it's just that bad and the apartment is um the apartment is um is, is a wrap okay so we've we've seen some really really bad apartments and this is our um when it comes to NYCHA and public housing um this is our um our hail mary i think uh, i hope my husband don't don't drag me for uh, saying that that's a football term and i hope i'm using it the right way because he's a football fan okay so now when it comes to these um rights just know that um you you can get accommodated but it is not a a, a easy it's not a one-time like just send a letter and that's it you do have to follow up with the actual keeping up to date um how many times you've been to the emergency room or little Johnny has been admitted for asthma. Okay, guys. So, and we want to make sure that uh, we are, we coach our patients the right way to speak up for themselves and that they are a part of their own, their own safe self management. Uh, and that's why I like to share tips like these because uh, patients don't know a lot about these types of uh, rights where they can advocate for themselves or you can even advocate for them and help them to remediate these triggers in the home. We have homes um, in urban settings where um, we have pests in the home, we have mold, and the, the, the conditions are just terrible. And it is unfortunate that a lot of patients that deal with social economical issues and barriers, they are hanging on to these apartments and um, living conditions because they fear homelessness or they have even been homeless and they may not be telling you that all right guys so anyway i hope you learned something here today if you don't know well now you know okay asthma is considered a disability if it is severe enough to the point where the quality of your life has been decreased or you are not able to function basically the way you're supposed to right so which is a, a which is it's, it's a disability okay guys under those um circumstances so thank you so much for getting here with me today and remember we are here every wednesday on google podcast and every thursday on youtube 
and remember guys to invest in yourself and to only compete with yesterday's version of you all right guys bye